Hey there, viewers. Heart disease is the leading cause of death around the world. It kills an estimated 18 million people a year. Being stuck in quarantine has probably forced you to eat some unhealthy foods. Well, let's talk about some snacks and drinks that are actually good for your heart. What's a coffee smoothie? How about a matcha tea? Salmon salad? Wait, peanut butter bites with chocolate? That's good for my heart? We're talking all this and more. Number one, chocolate chia peanut butter bites. We're kicking things off with one that you should be really excited about. These tiny little snacks are so good, you'll probably finish them in less than a minute. And unlike real peanut butter bites that you get from the candy store, they're actually pretty good for your heart. Chocolate chia peanut butter bites are packed full of terrific nutrients. I'm talking about protein, fiber, and healthy fat. They're made with oats, walnuts, and chia seeds. Each of these ingredients is shown to lower your bad cholesterol and blood pressure. This reduces your risk of heart disease. What's your favorite peanut butter snack? Do you go for candy? Are you the peanut butter and jelly type? Sound off in the comment section and start a conversation with our bestie community. Number two, kale and sweet potato egg cups. Yes, this is a snack and it's all the rage, folks. Egg cups are a pretty popular health food. For one, eggs have so many useful nutrients. I'm talking about protein and healthy fats. They also have selenium, which protects your body from oxidative damage. People with low amounts of selenium in their system are much more vulnerable to heart disease. As for kale, not only are you getting a decent amount of fiber and protein, you're getting a ton of vitamin A and C. Sweet potato also carries a lot of vitamin A. The recipe for these delicious egg cups is actually quite simple. With a little kale and sweet potato combined, you're on your way to a much healthier heart. That and you get to eat a small snack that satisfies you between meals. Number three, salmon salad. I get it, salmon is an acquired taste, but what better way to get used to it than to eat a small snack? Salmon is packed with really important vitamins and minerals, but its most important nutrient is perhaps omega-3 fatty acids. On top of being fantastic for your body all around, they hold particular benefits for your heart. Studies show that people who eat fish on a regular basis are less likely to suffer from heart attacks or strokes. If you mix some of this salmon with the usual salad mix, you're looking at a tasty snack that's easy on the heart. Number four, rosemary and turmeric spiced nuts. This one sounds like one of the weirder ones. Nuts are just so good for you. And I don't mean things like walnuts. You don't need to go that far. It can be regular almonds from the store. Aside from keeping your heart in good shape, nuts help you lose weight. This is due to the protein and fiber they contain. A single serving of almonds contains just over 10% of your suggested fiber for the day. Whichever nut you choose, it'll be coated with olive oil, as well as spices and herbs. This includes rosemary, turmeric, and ginger. These fight against inflammation in your body, helping your heart grow stronger. Give it a try. Number five, cacao hot chocolate. No, I don't mean cocoa. I'm talking about cacao. I know it's a little confusing, but this is actually a pure form of cocoa. That means it's less processed with more nutrients. Cacao has a ton of antioxidants that go to war with free radicals. As a result, your heart will get some relief. Research shows that eating cacao products will rescue your blood pressure levels, lowering your risk of heart attack or stroke. But you need to try it yourself to see if it's your thing. Add one tablespoon of cacao powder to a cup of hot milk. You can also sprinkle a touch of cinnamon on it to give the drink a little more flavor. Number six, papaya boats. Have you ever tried papaya before? It's okay if you haven't. I hadn't until recently. And boy, am I glad I did. Papaya is a tropical fruit that's really good for your heart. Let's talk for a second about lycopene. Lycopene is a pigment found in plant foods with anti-inflammatory properties. It'll improve the flow of your blood. It's because of lycopene that many heart patients see a decrease in symptoms after eating papaya. Studies show that eating lycopene-rich foods on the regular can protect your heart from early death. For a papaya boat, you can cut papaya down the middle and eat the seeds. You can also add other delicious bite-sized fruits and eat them off the boat. There's more than one recipe for a papaya boat. See which one fits your taste. Number seven, sardines with olive oil. Much like salmon, sardines are an acquired taste, but they also have a ton of omega-3 fatty acids. On top of that, you're also getting olive oil, which has its own anti-inflammatory properties. Both of these ingredients are well linked to heart health. A study from 2014 was done on adults with heart disease. It showed that every 10 grams of olive oil per day caused a 10% decrease in heart symptoms. So this is definitely a snack to consider. Before we continue, are you looking to get your fitness right? Well, you need to figure out what kind of workouts are for you. 
check out our recent video on seven exercises you can do at home to burn quarantine calories. Now, back to our list of 12 heart-healthy snacks and drinks. Number eight, citrus water. We are told all the time to drink more water. While there is truth that water is good for your cardiovascular health, you may wanna add something to it. The next time you pour yourself a cup of water, add a slice of citrus fruit. Whether it's oranges or lemons, citrus fruits have a ton of benefits to your health. They contain a lot of essential oils and antioxidants. Studies have shown that citrus water will lower your blood pressure. Adding a little citrus will also increase your fluid intake. The more water you're drinking, the better your heart will function. Add some sliced citrus to your next drink. See how it feels. Number nine, tomato, feta, and white bean salad. We've got yet another salad for you to try. This is a great veggie heavy snack that'll tide you over until dinner. Tomatoes are another fruit that carries lycopene, which you already know reduces the risk of heart disease by almost 15% according to studies. Add some fresh green feta cheese and white beans and you're in for a heart-friendly treat. Number 10, coffee smoothie. Really, that's a thing? Oh, you know it. Coffee is one of those drinks we take for granted. Sometimes I feel like I drink more coffee than anyone. If you're an avid coffee drinker, you're on the right track. Coffee is associated with cardiovascular health. People who drink three cups per day have a 20% lesser chance of heart disease than non-coffee drinkers. That's great and all, but where does the smoothie part come in? Well, the next time you're looking to mix things up, put some coffee in a blender with a fruit of your choice. I like to do bananas. It's also recommended you add some cacao powder and almond butter. Why not give it a go and see if coffee smoothies are right for you? Number 11, matcha tea. This is another one you may know nothing about. While it probably sounds different, matcha is actually a type of green tea, containing polyphenols known to reduce inflammation. Drinking matcha tea on the regular will reduce buildup of fatty substances in your arteries. As a result, your heart will have an easier time pumping blood. Number 12, Swiss chard hummus wraps. Don't shut the video off just yet. Now, I know hummus is a turnoff to many of you. Some people hear the word and check out immediately, but Swiss chard hummus will also give you all kinds of nutrients. Now, I'm talking about magnesium, potassium, and vitamin K. You need these for a healthier heart. With this recipe, you'll be putting Swiss chard hummus on bread and turning it into a type of spring roll. This will really keep your stomach and heart happy. Yep, your diet is so important to your health. Not just your heart, but so many other organs. Have I sparked your interest? Let's keep the conversation going with a couple more videos, right? Check out five hidden signs of vitamin A deficiency. Or how about 13 foods to avoid at all costs if you want a healthier liver? Go ahead and pick one. Better yet, watch both and learn more about how to live a healthy life. Have you ever eaten any of these heart-healthy foods? Let us know in the comments below.